What up, people? Smitty at the shop. Rainy Thursday afternoon. Got a Chevy Colorado on the lift. Uh, a customer just purchased this about 45 minutes north of here. Um, he had noted when he went to look at it that they had undercoated the frame, which was immediately a big red flag for me. But you think, ah, oh, people try and take care of their stuff. Um, we have, you know, we live in a salty area. It is notoriously uh, bad up here in the Northeast for salt on the roads in the winter, which corrodes frames, brake lines, control arms, etc. So anyway, he came in, he wanted the valve cover replaced on this, um, wanted me to just basically look it all over. You know, if you look at the control arms, super scaly. Um, nothing that's in danger of breaking, but God, I mean, just, you know, just scaly rust. You know, you got, this is what happens here. It's just, it, it flakes away. You know, so those will have to be replaced at some point. Um, and then I worked my way back and you go, okay, it's got coated brake lines and fuel lines. That's a good thing. Shouldn't be an issue with them. Um, and then I got back here <laughs> and I realized that they had taken gaffer's tape or something, and maybe even that super seal tape, uh, and put Bondo over top of that. Wow. If you're doing this kind of thing and selling your vehicle to somebody, you are a piece of garbage. So there's your Bondo right there. And underneath that is your seal tape uh, you know that's where the main suspension anchor is in the rear and if that isn't bad enough and you know I peeled that that tape back right there there's a big giant hole under there but if that isn't bad enough um, <laughs> then all you have to do is look back here and see that the crack the frame is literally cracked in half and you see it goes way down in there um, this car is not safe to drive I don't know what the inspection sticker is on it, but it is, should not have passed New York State inspection. It is not safe to drive. And basically this, uh, this gentleman got screwed on it, which is unfortunate. He didn't look at it personally. He sent his father-in-law up to look at it, who was a, a middle-aged gentleman and just, you know, Apparently didn't crawl underneath the thing, which, you know, a lot of people don't, but this is how these things happen, people. So, buyer beware, man. You gotta be careful when you're buying a used car. And, and you know, I hate to say it, but, I'll, but I will, as a, as a car dealer, it doesn't matter that you're buying it from a dealer, a private person, whatever. Due diligence. Have someone else check the car out. You know, know that you're dealing with a reputable person. You know, it's just, it's all common sense, people. Don't pull the trigger on something um, because it's got shiny paint or you're desperate for a vehicle because this is what you end up with. Uh, this vehicle is a loss. I, I forget what he paid for it, five, six thousand dollars, something like that, but that's, you know, he basically just opened up his uh, car window and threw that money right out. All right, this is just another sad, sorry PSA from Smitty at Smitty Shop.